Technology plays a huge role in globalization readiness for international organizations. As the world becomes more globalized, particularly for digital products and services, an entire ecosystem of technologies has grown up to support the work of globalization, internationalization, localization, and translation. My name is Tucker Johnson. I'm the co-author of the General Theory of the Translation Company and co-founder of NIMSI Insights, a market research and consulting firm specializing in helping companies grow globally through strategic investment in mature, scalable globalization processes. Today, we are talking about language technology. So let's take a high level look at just a few pieces of tech that are crucial to a mature global operation. Most likely, you have never heard of some of these tools, but you can rest assured that there is an entire language technology or LangTech ecosystem responsible for driving the global expansion of pretty much every major brand you can think of. Translation management systems, or TMSs, are the backbone of the globalization and localization industry. These are the tools that manage the workflow and the file parsing throughout the life cycle of a localization project, in taking the source files, managing a process defined by the users, and then exporting the translated files. Most third-party TMS solutions include some sort of program or environment for the translators to work directly in the tool. We refer to these tools as computer-aided translation tools, or CAT tools for short. There are many CAT tools on the market that do not have the full functionality of a TMS. However, most TMS systems will include some form of CAT tool built into their system. More advanced CAT tools have integrations with multilingual terminology management software, automated QA tools, other things that basically help the translator to verify the quality of their work in real time so that there aren't any quality issues down the line. Sometimes the term translation memory system is used as opposed to translation management system. And this is fine. It simply reflects the fact that TMSs maintain bilingual databases of previously translated content to leverage in future projects. And we call these databases translation memories. Translation memories have been around for decades and are an excellent tool for reducing costs by leveraging previous translations to automatically translate new content. Once a sentence or a string is translated, it is stored in the TM so that, in theory at least, you will never have to pay to have that string translated again. The cost benefits of using translation memories through a TMS can be further augmented by integrating it with machine translation. Machine translation, or MT for short, is the fully automated process of having content translated by a computer completely forgoing human translation. If machine translation sounds too good to be true, well, eh, probably it's because it is. Don't get me wrong, MT is an incredibly powerful tool and there are excellent use cases for using raw MT generated content, such as translating low impact support documentation, user generated content, or other content types that don't require that special human touch. The recently updated NIMSI language technology landscape is a comprehensive report covering 770 different tools related to globalization. It is the definitive guide to the language technology landscape. Technologies are broken down into functional categories, including translation management systems, which we've already discussed, translation business management systems, audiovisual translation tools, quality management tools, integrators, machine translation, including generic MT, MT toolkits, niche MT, custom MT solutions, uh, different marketplaces and platforms, interpreting systems, and speech recognition. Each of these main classifications is then further subdivided into further functional subcategories based on use cases. So, if technology is your jam and you want to find out more about it, head over to nimsy.com and look for the new language technology landscape, which we also affectionately refer to the LangTech Atlas. So we might be using those terms interchangeably. Attached to the Atlas is a full report by lead researcher Yulia Akulkova, who, along with the rest of the NIMSI team, is eager to answer any question you would like to send to info at nimsy.com. 
Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at info at nimsy.com or to me personally. Once again, my name is Tucker Johnson, founder of Nimsy Insights. Thank you.